small greenhouse update. Um, this is the uh, Bajou banana that a gentleman gave to me. Um, actually, it had started, this piece right here, had started growing on the top. And this was all brand new growth and then we had this weird weather that we've got here in north carolina going on and we had a freeze come through so it's only green back to here though but uh this is my first banana plant or whatever but this was all brand new growth and everything this is the top leaf and then it started to die back so i had to wrap it back up because we've had these weird freezing weathers or whatever but all in all the bajou doesn't look too bad so I can't wait to see that pop up and then that should give me some uh, shade on the greenhouse right now 60 degree weathers looking at 100 inside and that's with both the doors open on the front and the tops open so strawberry plants um, not looking too bad you know, starting to see a little bit of growth coming out of the top we got some leaves and stuff starting and all so maybe want to be too much longer or whatever we should start seeing a lot more action out of the uh can grow i say you look all the way around starting to get a little bit of green stuff out of them so probably won't be too much longer or whatever we should start having plants of whatever start looking pretty good some more crepe myrtles over here here's some of the windmill palms that i sell here in north carolina a little bunch of these um, these are the uh, blue hydrangeas and I got they're actually starting to produce pretty good and all they started to come out the first time if you see this one right here looking kind of burnt they started coming out like these these burnt come out we got this weird freaky weather we're in the 70s and then all of a sudden bam you know you're back in 20s at night so freezes everything out there's some more over there no sign of uh these right here i just decided to do asparagus and pots no sign of them or anything but like i say did get a lot of pine needles around the house and everything there's a palm up here palm here i kind of display some of the plants inside my yard and everything these palms are actually just kind of uh dug in the ground and they're still in pots so uh what i do is i just kind of kind of fake it make them look like they're planted so people kind of what the things look like now and then i'll just yank them up and i'll put new plants in the place of them or whatever but uh this morning it's a little bit brisk it's about 70 degrees in here all the vents are open been having to do that for a while like i say we had some burning and everything inside the greenhouse um pinched off some of the tops here you can see these pinched off where they're a little bit brown i pinched those off um there's a little let me show you guys there's a little leaf right there i pinched these off these right here were the first ones that i had if you've been watching my videos they were already up to here tops of them burnt i pinched them off and everything they should start sprouting back or whatever but uh these are the picasso uh cannas so uh these are beautiful they're gonna be looking good they should be out pretty good hens are actually starting to uh let me get you in closer little baby hens starting to pop up and everything cluck cluck um we do have some of the uh, stargazer lilies coming up back here you can see that right there um variegated hosta is starting to sprout and all um blood good japanese maple that i had planted from uh seed there's a couple of them in here looking pretty good those leaves are looking real good and all um uh, right here got the uh purple uh clementus looking good this back here is just a an unknown bush neighbor had it up the street i went and got some cuttings and it's starting to uh sprout new across the back and everything but this thing looks great it uh it ends up uh really turning into a uh, a great plant it's a bush and it ends up uh, doing pink that's right here you can see these are uh, red um 
red crepe myrtles, the uh, firecrackers planted. Right there is uh, Rosa Sharon's from seed that I had popped in there. I seen they sprouted out. It didn't take but about a day and a half with this this hot weather. So they're looking pretty good. Um, do have these right here? You can tell burning again. They looked good or whatever, but these I'll just pop the tops off of them and everything, and they should be all right. So I'll come through and cut them off later on, or whatever. Um, these right here are uh, Big Bertha um, bell peppers. These right here, if you've watched my worm bin um, vermiculture uh, worm bin uh, thing, this all right here came out of the worm bin. And so far, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and it looks like I've only lost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, about 7 of them. Looks like I've lost the rest of them. Look like they're going to be pretty good or whatever, but those are bell peppers. This right here is off the Bonanza Peach. I yanked it out from the bottom. What it was doing was uh, sprouting out of the dirt. I kept it covered and everything. I did... Uh, um, pot it up doesn't look too bad these are Japanese maples off the tree out front all these pods were full so uh, right now I'm about getting it to a 50 50 growth rate on these suckers they're looking pretty good some of them actually already have the good leaves took the uh, peach out repotted it up give me a little little water pond there to kindly uh, keep that moist and everything just about lost all its flowers now doesn't look too too it's looking kind of dull but uh leaves are coming out pretty good hopefully we can get some peaches off this puppy this year that'd be nice um these are some of the first japanese maples that i had planted really look amazing i think they really look good right now got some good good color to them and everything but yeah so those really look good. Um, also, these are some more of the Bonanza peaches that started growing on their own. And both of those have been in pots now for two weeks. And they look like they're going to survive. So I should end up with about three more plants as long as that one takes off. I'm going to create myrtles that I start from seed and everything. Come right there. There you go. Celery from in the house. You just cut the bottom off, stick it in dirt, and let it go. So it's been growing pretty good. Brussels sprouts. I did uh, some of these looking kind of dead here. I pulled out some, spread them out, and everything. Bradford pears looking awesome. But uh, I did take some of the Brussels sprouts out. Let me show you right here took them out plant these up that way I can get bigger plants from my garden and everything so uh, give them a little more room in here they should grow pretty good for me in there um, here's uh, plants that we sell these right here are the squash squash is looking amazing cucumbers looking good tomatoes this is just a just some some average Joe uh, better boys um, a lot of people around here like them, so I grow them to sell to them or whatever. Fig cuttings are looking amazing. So, uh, let me get that in better. There you go. That's a fig cutting that I did in the house. Those are really looking good. All my fig cuttings are looking amazing. Tomatoes. level like that tomatoes looking good tomatoes all these are tomatoes looking good putting on their second and third leaves so uh, they all look pretty good purples these are purple tomato um, these I can't wait to grow so uh, stay tuned on that Cherokee purples um, homesteads are coming in real good right here we have uh, zu um, zucchini We've got some uh, sweet banana peppers popping. 
here is some more big berthas that I grew from seed outside, not in my vermiculture bin or whatever. I do have uh, watermelons, carrots there in the back. You can see those, those are looking pretty good and all. So yeah, plants and stuff are uh, starting to look good in here, you know. Um, do have a little bit of, these are butterfly bushes right here. Breeder man with a bunch, it's hard to grow butterfly bushes from uh, dirt but I do have one there and one there this is the ones that I had started earlier and it looks like I might have three or four in there the rest of that stuff is like some weedy stuff so I'm gonna have to get rid of that um, that right there is the trade carpus 429 which is uh, the uh, windmill palm that I sell those are the wash tone to robust those still looking great and the pineapple tops still looking good but uh gonna get pretty warm here today probably getting ready to go ahead and open up the doors because we're right at about 70 so uh but anyways uh green 6400 out stay tuned